Yeah, China will buy 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 China Okay, so now we say that the current, the current, which is represented by I, equal to the integral, integral, okay? Take your uh, current density and then means integrate your current density, okay? Integrate your current density, but uh, you have to put here. Uh, with respect to dA, okay, but we have a current density. So in other words, take this current density and then integrate, that's all. Okay, now let's uh, integrate. So this is going to be, so we know the value of current density. What's the current density? So let's let me see. Integral, our current density, our current density equal to Kr. So here I'm going to say, I have to say Kr, if I have to do plus J, it's going to be Kr, and they have it, dA. But, just remember one thing, right? I have to find my dA, my constant, my k, it is a constant 10, and radius, so now I'm going to show you how we can get there, okay, now we go, so we know, no area, you see we come here, we say area equals pi r square, because that's a cross section, area of a wire, okay, so now we say, oh, let's differentiate now, so we're going to say, when you differentiate a, you're going to get the a, this pi is just a constant, because you know it's uh, 3.14, so write your pi, but when you differentiate the R, these two is going to come here, and we're going to write the R, 2 minus 1 equal to 1. But here with respect to R, this is the application of differentiation. So now, I'm going to come and replace dA from the equation for where I was integrating. So this dA has to go, and then we'll represent by 2 pi R the R. Okay? So now we're going to say here, we're going to say our current I equal, okay? Now it's going to be integral, okay, so k is just a k, r is just r, but this dA right there, dA, we go represent by dA equal to 2 pi r dr, oh, so we're going to say 2 pi r, 2 pi r dr, so remember, uh, your integration has to do with r, so the constant term has to go to the back, so we say our current, so we're going to say here our current, Equal. So what is that constant? Uh, our constant is going to be 2, so 2 is going to go to the back. Even pi is going to be constant in k. So 2 pi k is going to go behind. So we come here, we say 2 pi k, 2 pi k, and then we still got our integral. We still got our integral, and then we have the r times r is r square. Oh, so here we're going to have the r square, r square para t, r, because we left only with dr okay so now let's integrate so this is a power rule of integration so we're going to say our current equal to pi chi okay so if the power rule of uh, integration what you do you see this one here okay you see this one here write exactly and then take these two whichever number is here plus one two plus one equal to three and then write over the same number which you got here you know so this is going to be three and remember now they give you a limit so this stuff here is like a limit Start from 0 to R. Because it says it's going to start from 0 to R. Okay? So I'm going to come here. I'm going to say, oh, so this one here will start from 0 to R. So upper limit minus lower limit. So it's going to be our current t equal to always upper limit minus upper lower limit. So, so we're going to say now uh, 2 pi R is a constant. So I should have written here 2 pi R here. Excuse me. So here. Outside is 2 pi r. So here I'm supposed to write 2 pi r. Uh, the space is not enough. Okay, so I'm going to cancel this. Okay, so I'm going to say my current equal. 2 pi r is just a constant. 2 pi k in my problem. 2 pi k is constant. Okay, now we're going to set upper limit minus lower limit. It's not just 2 pi r. Yeah, 2 pi r. Now we go. 2 pi r over 3 because these are constant this and this and this is constant so we can say over over 3 now we go so 
What is that's not constant? This is not constant right here. This is not constant. So we're gonna take upper limit minus lower limit. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be R. Our upper limit is R. We're gonna substitute in here. So it's gonna be R bigger, which is the upper limit. But cube is Q minus our lower limit. Our lower limit is gonna be zero. But what? Cube. Okay, so all this in a bracket. So this application of integration which is finite integration so 2 pi chi over 3 okay upper limit minus lower limit r cube minus 0 equals going to be r cube r cube you know what i'm saying and this is going to be our final answer okay so it's going to be our final answer so it's just a waste of time when you do this question it is easy like that man thanks a lot of you know what i'm saying look man i believe in learning from how to do things if it's time Make sure you subscribe and you know you can just go and do donation to our patreon page i have a patreon i have a gofundme you know what i'm saying i have all the means of donation because to make this project going you know any type of donation the little that you think is too small for you it could make a lot of change and thanks a lot for all your time you know subscribe don't forget share this video circulate to a lot of people you know because the meaning of this project is program it's to help as many as we can, okay? It's not only for one patient or two, because you might think it's not helpful for you, but for somebody next out there, it could be very, very helpful. So thanks a lot, man. And you know, any donation that you did to me, it means so much. I appreciate it, man. It means a lot. Go to our Patreon page. Go to our uh, GoFundMe, because we need to have, a, you know, a lot of things we need to put them together, like camera, you know, and a lot of equipment so that we can improve on you know, a lot of anger, a lot of aspect of these projects, you know. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate and I love you. Peace and love. Bye. You know, this is one of my children of knowledge. You know, she wanted to introduce herself. What's your name? Could you please introduce yourself? My name is Camille. I yeah. to Solace Primary School. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to work back to me. I'm trying to work back to me. trying to everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So this is my other son, his name, what's your name? Matthew. Matthew, yeah, he's grade 11, man. So his aim is to score distinction, right? So you promise, I want you to score distinction this time. And what's your name? Joshua. Joshua, well, how much you promise me to score this time? Distinction. <laughs> distinction? <laughs> yeah, so I'm trying to buy just everywhere, man. I'm trying to buy you everywhere. I'm trying to buy you everywhere. Everywhere. I'm trying to buy you everywhere. Exactly. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Helped a lot. Uh, first, I, I redid first year for maths. It was my own fault, but also I didn't know a lot of the work. And Hamish said lots of hard questions, and it's it's demotivating sometimes to do the harder stuff. You like, just want to get done, but it's the hard stuff that makes you realize the easy stuff is easy. Oh, oh.